You know, right up there with like pimples, congestion, and well aging, I think brightening is one of my top skin goals and something that I have sometimes struggled with in the past. Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare and sometimes self care. So if that's your vibe, please consider hitting subscribe. And today I want to share with you some of the brightening ingredients that have made a big difference on my skin journey. I am really excited to share with you some of the ingredients that have given given me that aha moment and really given me, you know, great results for different kinds of brightening needs. A portion of today's video is going to be sponsored by Agency. They create custom RX blended skincare that is targeted towards your skin goals. Now you may have caught my video featuring my tretinoin, my updated tretinoin routine featuring Agency last month. And in today's video, I'm going to be featuring their dark spot formula, which is really accelerating my journey with fading sun damage. So I'm going to share that with you a little bit later in the video, but let's jump right into those ingredients that have made the biggest difference on my brightening skin journey. Give the video a big thumbs up and let's get into it. So the first ingredient is azelaic acid, and this is something you need to know about if you are constantly fighting post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation you know the dark mark that is left over after a pimple. Now, this is what I'm always dealing with <laughs> because my skin, you know, it's just, it's really sensitive to inflammation. So if I do get a pimple, you know, where it kind of gets a little bit inflamed, maybe even a little bit swollen on my skin, I'm getting a dark mark. Like it just, if there's any inflammation, a dark mark is happening on my face. That's just how my skin is. Some people are more resilient against them, but like my skin is not. So I'm constantly dealing with that. Um, you know, if I get a pimple, I get a dark mark. And azelaic acid has saved my skin. I mean, I used this ingredient many, many, many years ago when I was desperate. I had clogged pores all over my face that would become inflamed and become a full blown pimple. And not only did I have this like very, very rough, bumpy texture on my face. I actually did have a lot of hyperpigmentation that was coming with that as well, and a lot of redness. And I just, I didn't know what to do at the time. And that's when I started using azelaic acid. And this ingredient is so good for this constant cycle of pimples and hyperpigmentation because this really can do so much for your skin. Number one, it's great at exfoliating your skin, getting inside of the pore and really helping to exfoliate exfoliate the pore lining and releasing any clogged, you know, dead skin cells and excessive oil that's in there. When the clog forms, that's what's going to lead to the pimple down the road. So this helps keep your pores clear in the first place. And in fact, azelaic acid is the like, I, I hesitate to use the word miracle, but for me and my personal situation, it was a miracle and it helps to clear out my skin. And to this day, it keeps my skin so much less like prone to clogs. So it's an awesome exfoliating ingredient. It's also an anti-inflammation ingredient. So if you do currently have inflamed pimples on your skin, this is going to help calm that down. It's also antibacterial. So it's going to fight the bacteria that causes those like really inflamed uh, pimples in the first place, which is awesome. And this is also a great ingredient for reducing redness on the skin. And in fact, it's often used as a treatment for rosacea and redness that's caused by severe acne. So you see why there's so many benefits to this, right? But it's a very effective skin brightener too. And it's particularly good at fading the hyperpigmentation that comes after the pimple is gone. So this is an awesome one for, you know, exfoliating your skin, keeping it clear, lessening the amount of pimples you're getting, lessening the amount of inflammation you're getting, and then working on the hyperpigmentation that you might currently have. And if you do end up getting a pimple and you do end up getting hyperpigmentation, if you're on a regular schedule with azelaic acid, I feel like that hyperpigmentation just goes away a lot faster. So azelaic acid is definitely an emerging ingredient in skincare these days. And there's a few different ways that you can get it. I personally am using azelaic acid right now in my future formula from Agency. And that's what you saw in my tretinoin video. I'm using tretinoin and azelaic acid. And you know how much my skin loves this ingredient for so many years. It has benefited from azelaic acid. But there's a few over-the-counter products that 
that you can um, use for azelaic acid as well. And one of my favorites is actually the Polish Choice 10% Azelaic Acid Booster. So as the name suggests, we do have 10% of azelaic acid, but there's also a little bit of salicylic acid in here to kind of up the exfoliation. And we have some soothing, but also brightening licorice root extract, which us K-beauty lovers already know as a great brightening ingredient for the skin. So the next ingredient is tranexamic acid. And this is so good if you are dealing with sun damage or melasma, because I do find that like this is very different than the dark sp spots that you get after a pimple. Um, I do mostly deal with that on my skin like on a daily basis, but as I've been getting older, I can tell you the sun damage has been emerging and I've been slowly working at fading it. And it definitely is a slow process because it does just take a long time to fade sun damage or even to, you know, tackle melasma on the skin. But I just feel like it's a completely different approach to like some of the brightening ingredients that have worked so good for hyperpigmentation on my skin just don't work on sun damage. Um, so I really do feel like different ingredients that work at brightening your skin in a different way are really required for sun damage. You know, sun damage, it takes a really long time for that to form on the skin and a long time for it to emerge. And melasma is, you know, it's actually really linked to like hormones. Um, oftentimes it comes up through pregnancy and it more commonly affects women than men. So it is actually just a very different kind of situation. And it's actually a really great ingredient if you do um, manage melasma on your skin because tranexamic acid definitely helps to fade the existing brown patch that you have on your skin. But because of the way that this ingredient works, as you continuously use this through your skincare routine, like keep using it even after the brown spa, uh, patch is gone because this actually helps to prevent more from coming up. So this can actually be amazing for helping to manage flare-ups with melasma. Now for me personally, I use this for sun damage and for the longest time, I just felt like I wasn't getting much progress with like niacinamide and azelaic acid. And then I started using tranexamic acid and I was like, whoa, this works so fast and so effectively on the skin. And the really nice thing about tranexamic acid is it's a team player. It works so well with your other brightening ingredients. So if you've ever been like, I don't know, I can't choose. <laughs> this is actually a great one to pair up with things like niacinamide or even kojic acid, which you find in a lot of J Beauty products. This can pair really well with all your other brightening ingredients. So if you're working on sun damage and hyperpigmentation at the same time, you wanna double up the benefits, this is a great place to start. So you can definitely get tranexamic acid through the custom formulas through agency, but if you wanna go over the counter first, I really do like the Polish Choice Discoloration Repair Serum. And you've heard me talk about this quite a bit. Um, it's been a very beneficial product for my skin. This uses 3% of tranexamic acid and 5% of niacinamide. I love the way that this um, it pairs those two brightening ingredients together. It works really fast and really effectively for the skin. And if you're working on sun damage or managing melasma, you have to be using this ingredient. It's so good. So I have a little bit of a wild card for you because the next ingredient that I wanna highlight is antioxidants. Yeah, I mean, we know that is a great well aging ingredient, but how does that help brighten the skin? You may be wondering. Well, I wanted to highlight antioxidants as a class of ingredients because they are very good at helping to calm inflammation down on the skin. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you know, my skin, this may be, this may describe you. Whenever you get a little bit of inflammation on your skin, you are guaranteed to get hyperpigmentation right? You're going to get a mark left behind because your skin just is so sensitive, right? So that's where antioxidants come in because they lessen the inflammatory response of your skin. They can lessen the amount of inflammation that's happening from a pimple, meaning it can lessen the dark mark that's about to occur on your face. And you know what it's like with dark marks. Like if, you, if it's like just like a little one, like, you know, it's like it's not too dark. It fades away pretty quickly and it doesn't like give you too much pain, right? But sometimes when you get that really, really badly inflamed pimple that hangs around for a long time and then finally goes away, that dark mark is so stubborn and it stays around for months, right? Are you, are we like communicating? Do you hear what I'm saying? Like, have you, have you experienced this before? Because like, <sighs> That's one of my biggest frustrations. <laughs> I actually have one right now on my forehead that I've had for over a month now and I'm just like, Ugh, 
please go away. Um, it's slowly fading, but you know, it's just one of those stubborn ones. So that's where antioxidants come in. Now, this is definitely something that you want to be pairing with some of the other brightening ingredients we're talking about in today's video. But if this situation sounds like you, I would highly suggest packing your skincare routine with lots of antioxidants alongside of your brightening ingredients to really help reduce, you know, the amounts of hyperpigmentation, the stubbornness of those dark marks that you're getting. Uh, reducing the inflammation is going to reduce the severity of your dark marks. So there's a lot of different places that I could go with my recommendations for you. And what I'm actually going to do is have you check out this video I made a couple of months ago all about uh, different antioxidants, what they can do for your skin with product recommendations. That's a great place if you're like, I need to know everything about antioxidants right now, Kelly. Check that one out. And in fact, I love this Isn't Tree Green Tea Fresh Serum because it's got a high concentration of green tea extract, which you will be getting the antioxidant benefit from. But they've also added in the EGCG, the super, you know, beneficial antioxidant found in green tea. They've added that in separately. Um, so that's something unique about this uh, green tea product um, that I really, really like. And this is definitely going to load your skin up with all those green tea benefits and lots of antioxidants. Now let's talk about stubborn dark marks because I was just telling you, you know, I do have one on my forehead right now from a pimple that would not quit. <laughs> that pimple just would not go down for like an entire week. And so you can tell the inflammation was really bad. Um, and that means a dark mark on my skin was really bad and it's been fading, but like it is hanging around. You know what I mean? Like it's definitely a stubborn dark mark. And I also mentioned that I've been working on sun damage slowly, but surely. And that is even something I would consider to be like a stubborn dark mark, something that has just been taking me a long time to address. So if this sounds like something that you're also dealing with, maybe you just have hyperpigmentation that will not quit, you have a sun damage that you're looking to address, and you're just not finding success with like maybe some of the other ingredients that I have talked about in today's video, that's where the next ingredient comes in. It's hydroquinoin. This is a prescription only ingredient, but this is really the gold standard when it comes to fading any type of pigmentation on the skin. It really helps to stop the skin from uh, overproducing pigment in the first place. And it is a very strong ingredient. We are not talking skin bleaching or skin lightening, not by any means, but this is a very potent, powerful ingredient that if nothing else has been working for you, I would really suggest looking into this ingredient. Like I said, it is the gold standard and it works really intensely and really fast. Now, as I mentioned, um, today's video is sponsored by Agency and I wanted to highlight their dark spot formula, which features hydroquinoin. This is a really easy way to get a prescription for hydroquinoin, be under the care of a dermatology provider as you use this ingredient because it's very potent. It's been giving me amazing results, but there is some like peculiarities that come with this ingredient. And I actually do want to do a demo for you because it's really important to know how to use this ingredient, how to apply it, how often to use it, and when you should stop using this ingredient. So why don't we go over to my bathroom right now? I'm going to wash up and I'm going to show you how to use this. All right, I'm all washed up and I did do my whole skincare routine. And now it's time to apply the dark spot formula from Agency. So in my my formula, I have 4% of hydroquinoin. I also have 4% of kojic acid. I have 3% of azelaic acid and I have hydrocortisone, which is not a brightening ingredient, but it is a great ingredient for a first time hydroquinoin user like I am because it kind of helps your skin adapt and it helps uh, to reduce irritation and potential sensitivity. So hydroquinoin is a really interesting ingredient because this is not something that you want to be using long term. You actually want to cycle on on and off with this ingredient. So you'll be using it for about two months and then um, you will go like two months off of not using it and then you'll use hydroquinone again. And that's just because this is a potent ingredient. You know, it's so effective at stopping the overproduction of pigment. You don't wanna be using this long-term and kind of have that process backfire a little bit. So Agency has you covered. You don't have to sweat it at all. They automatically cycle you on and off. So even if you forget how long it's been, they got your back on this one and that's something I absolutely love about this service. So you just want to apply this in the areas where you need the brightening. So I do have some like hyperpigmentation here on my forehead. 
This is the one that I was talking about. It's finally starting to improve. I do have a little new guy um, up here. This is a pimple that would not quit. And I do have uh, a little one starting here. So I'm gonna put some on here. There's actually a pimple under there and that's where the azelaic acid in this formula is really going to help. Sun damage. I do have some on my cheeks. I don't know if the camera is gonna pick it up that much because I've had so much improvement on it. But I actually do have some like progress pictures that I'm gonna insert right now. And you can see how this cluster of sun damage um, has improved over the last couple of years. And you can see where it actually accelerated um, once I started using the dark spot formula. And this um, this most recent picture was just taken a few days ago. And I've been using uh, the dark spot formula for two months. So this is some huge improvement and I'm just like, I'm so excited, you know what I mean? Like when I look in the mirror, I'm like, wow, I can see the progress. You know, sometimes when you're like, I think it's getting better. It's not a, I think it's getting better situation. This is getting better. This is the dark spot formula and it actually is a cream. So if you're familiar with um, Agency's Future formula or their sister brand Curology, this is a very similar uh, type of cream. It's not like super duper moisturizing, but it does have like a, a little bit of a thickness to it, which actually makes it great for um, doing very careful application on your dark spots. So there's a few ways that you can do this. Um, take a very small amount, and then you're just going to really just kind of like dab it in onto that dark spot. And I really do prefer like a tapping rather than a rubbing to keep it localized on that dark spot and not really super outside of the border of that dark spot. What you could also do if you have, if you want to be like super duper careful and you just feel like you're spreading it a little bit outside of your dark spot, use a Q-tip, dip it into the cream. And then let's do that little pimple here you will be working with your dermatology provider. So they're going to give you more personalized um, instructions. So if you have sensitive skin, you might start with just one time a day or once every other day and sort of work yourself up. But you can um, actually use this. See that dark spot here. That's sun damage. You can actually use this twice a day. And um, once your skin gets accustomed to hydroquinone and the dark spot formula, you could actually use this. If you're using the future formula, the tretinoin from Agency, you can actually use them together. And I have one more. <laughs> this is why I need the dark spot formula right there. It's like most of my pimples have gone down, but it doesn't look like it because the dark spots are still here. So this, I mean, this dark spot formula has been so helpful to really just kind of getting my skin like kind of back to balance um, very quickly. So just a few other things I forgot to mention. Sunscreen. You probably already know this because you're so advanced on your skincare journey already, but it's an important thing to remember. Sunscreen definitely needs to be paired with hydroquinone. Whether you're using it at night or in the morning, it really doesn't matter. Don't think because you put it on at night, you can skip out your sunscreen in the morning. And the sunscreen is not only going to protect you from some potentially increased sun sensitivity using an ingredient like this, but it's actually gonna maximize your results too because unprotected sun exposure can actually make that dark mark darker. So your sunscreen is definitely helping you to fade those dark marks too. And honestly, it should be like the honorary, um, you know, brightening ingredient for this video. And something else that's super important Important to mention is a freebie. Um, if you want to try out agency for yourself, try out this dark spot formula or maybe even their future formula, I've got you covered. So in the link in the description box, just follow that and you're going to get your first month for free. All you need to do is pay the $4.95 in shipping and handling. So thank you again to agency for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Again, everything we talked about, that free trial and all the products in today's video are in the description box. And I want to know from you like do you agree with my ingredient picks you know these are the things that have helped me but I'm curious to know have they helped you too or maybe you have another hero ingredient that you love let me know in the comment box and if you love this video and you're not subscribed to my channel yet please don't go yet please consider hitting that subscribe button before you go especially if you love skincare videos just like this one um, I do release a lot of new content throughout the week so consider turning notifications on too so you're never out of the loop when the new video drops. I hope you are healthy, happy, and safe. I can't wait to see you in the next video and I'll talk to you soon.